Welcome, my dear students and other viewers, to my continuing coverage of Chapter 8's discussion on basic concepts of chemical bonding. Let's begin this lecture with a hilarious chemistry cat of the day taken from quickmeme.com. This one says, Iron Man, you mean female? <laughs> chemistry! All right, for this one, I'm going to begin by teaching you about lattice energy. So the attraction between positively and negatively charged ions in an ionic compound makes ionic compounds very stable. These compounds' stabilities are measured by their lattice energy, which is the energy required to completely separate one mole of a solid ionic compound into its individual gaseous ions. For example, if you take solid sodium chloride table salt and separate out the sodium cations and chloride anions into their completely separate ions, it requires an investment of plus 788 kJs per mole. You'll notice, of course, this process is highly endothermic, which means it requires an investment of heat energy. It should make sense then that the reverse process, combining these ions together to make sodium chloride salt, will be very exothermic by the exact same amount, just with the reverse negative sign. Now, lattice energy, sometimes abbreviated with this symbol, can be described by using the following mathematical equation, where kappa is a constant that varies according to some parameters we won't discuss here, and Q1 and Q2 are the charges of the individual ions, cation and anion, while D is the distance between their nuclei. Now, if you look at this closely and think about it mathematically, you can see that lattice energy goes up as the charges of the ions go up, and as the radii, the distance down here, D goes down. You see, because D is in the denominator, it makes sense that if D gets bigger, this overall number will actually get smaller because D is in the denominator. Now, in practice, this means that the larger the two atoms are relative to each other, the longer their bonding distance and the weaker the bond. See, longer distance means weaker bond. Sometimes I use the analogy, with whom do you have a stronger bond? Your sibling or your fourth cousin? Typically, it's your sibling. Why? Because the distance between you is shorter. Shorter distance equals stronger bond. Longer distance equals weaker bond. Make sense? Good. Let's put it into practice with some cool example problems. This one says, explain the following trends in lattice energy. Now, if it helps, you can use this equation. Don't worry about kappa. Just focus on the charges and, if necessary, the size of atoms, that is the bonding distance, in order to explain these things. Now, I'm not going to answer this question here, but for students who take this university course from me, I will talk about it in class. But as some general advice, I always begin by comparing the charge of the cation and charge of the anion. The larger those charges, the stronger the bond will be. And then, if I'm comparing charges that are the same between two different ionic compounds, for example, this series in the top, has all plus ones for their cations, all minus ones for their anions, then I have to make an appeal to the bonding distance, hence size of the atom, as an explanation. In any event, until next time, my dear students and viewers, please have an enjoyable rest of your day.